Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts, and today we're looking at Bentwood's first coffee grinder, the Vertical 63. Bentwood is a Swiss company making commercial coffee grinders. Now these grinders are designed in Germany and made in Italy. And the actual name Bentwood comes from the original Bentwood chairs you'd find in the cafes of Vienna. And that's because its founder, Manuel Sternborn, was from Vienna. When it comes to this grinder, it runs 63 mil steel burrs which are mounted vertically. And these burrs are a screwless design with a unique geometry. The burrs sit in an aluminium casing that has such a tight tolerance which means the burrs don't need to be recalibrated. And when it comes to dialing in the grinder, it moves very small increments. It's a stepless design measured in microns. So you've got a micron window here which shows you where you're at. And you can go all the way from super fine to super coarse with espresso being between 80 and 200 microns. First things first, let's grind out 20 grams of coffee and on this grinder, even though it's vertical blade setup, you do have a time setting. What makes this grinder different is its setup. So we mentioned that the Bentwood grinds from super fine to super coarse. It does come with a porter filter support that if you are gonna use it permanently, you just screw in directly into the wood. And it does come with a porter filter collar to reduce that gap. So if you are using a porter filter, you can use the support and the collar or use a different support altogether. It also can grind directly into an AeroPress or any other brew method. Obviously we're currently in Espresso and we'll move it over to a coarser setting, say 450 or something like that. And you can grind directly into a retail coffee bag. Now, although it does grind into retail coffee bag, it's not its prime function. Its prime function really is to be an all-round coffee grinder, from espresso to filter with the ability to do retail, where other grinders on the market were a retail coffee grinder that could do AeroPress and espresso. But it really is easy to move that dial around and that ball bearing that I mentioned earlier sitting behind the collar here really does make the operation probably the smoothest operation there is on the market. The difference with this grinder compared to other grinders using vertical burrs, it actually runs a timed grind with three different timer settings. And you run a 700 gram hopper and the hopper is actually insulated. It's got little rubber seals to keep the beans fresh. So effectively you've got a hopper that you can load up with beans and you're running vertical blades in a timed setting. So you can run two different times, a single and a double, and run the third time, to say, as a top up. Bear in mind, the minimum time you can run is half a second, which we've equated to about 0.4 of a gram. So for the small top ups, it is quite hard. The menu is really easy to adjust. You literally just click into the menu, use this to select which setting you're in. So under shot, click OK. Then you got your three shots. You can cycle through the shots, let's say we're in shot three, which is this one here. You can go up or down in time, lock it back in and get back out of the menu. So super easy to dial in. You got the spout here, which is easily removed for cleaning. And just under the spout, you got the metal clump crusher, which has the teeth facing forward. Also easy to pull out and clean. And the base here is a piece of wood held on by magnets. Being a vertical blade grinder, it has very low retention. And when it comes to heat, it's got two built-in fans to really cool it down and a lot of aluminium inside to use as a heat sink. So the cooler you have it, the better consistency in grind and less retention you have. One thing though, that for me, I don't like personally, and if you've watched other videos of mine, you're probably gonna know, it's the switch and power cable out of the back. In Australian cafes where I'm located, a lot of time the equipment's actually facing the customer. So the bristles on this side of the counter and the customer on the opposite. So effectively you've got the cable and the switch facing the customer, which I don't think is a beautiful design. However, a lot of the gear is designed in Italy. And in Italy, you, a lot of times you have the gear facing the wall and the bris actually has their back to the customer. So from that sense, it makes sense. But for me, I'd always like to have little feet 
raise up, the cable will come out from the bottom so you could drill into the bench and really hide that cable or really decide where you want the cable to move and a switch is hidden on the side or the front very discreetly. But going back to what the features are of this grinder is there are very few, if any, grinders in the market that have vertical blades that are screwless, that are timed and have a collar that's so easy to adjust to the nth degree. And this grinder was designed to be able to pull apart without any tools, but that didn't pass safety regulations. So they did have to put a little bracket here with one Phillips head screw that you remove that holds it all in place. And after that, you can just turn it clockwise and it all starts pulling apart without any tools. It really is cool. You can pull it apart and get in there and give it a good clean. It is a bit of work to do daily, but to do at the end of the week, it is good that you can really get in there and clean it all the way. Now this is a commercial grinder made for the speciality coffee world, but you are getting the high-end home users to say with the Lama Zorkas and Slayers and Speedsters of this world, buying these grinders for home. It is flexible enough to be at home and in the cafe, and I really do like that you're getting a vertical blade grinder with very minimal retention, super easy to dial in, and with a timed grind. So in that sense, it really is awesome. It would be cool if a ground by weight too, but I think that might come in the years to come. One thing that might not come off in camera, is just how beautifully designed and finished this grinder is. I really do like product design. We have done a video comparing this to the obvious resemblance, the EK43. But I'd like to know in the comments below, do you have a Bentwood? Do you have an EK43? How do you feel about vertical blade grinders? Let me know. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.